as Chancellor of the University, I declare this congregation open for the conferring of degrees by the authority of the Senate and Council. As Vice-Chancellor, I am delighted to welcome you all to this degree congregation. In particular, it is a pleasure to welcome the Lord Lieutenant of Leicestershire, Lady Gretton, and also His Excellency the High Commis Commissioner of Ghana, together with parents, friends, and graduands. Degree ceremonies are celebrations for all those who graduate today. We celebrate your many achievements that culminate in the award of a degree from a major international research and teaching-led university. While you have been with us, the university has developed and changed. We are now a community of 18,500 students and 3,000 staff with a turnover of £167 million. It all demonstrates that universities are complex organizations. They are businesses with higher education at their heart. In these circumstances, higher education has become a topic of interest to the media who regularly evaluate our work. In the last year, the university has appeared in a range of league tables. In August, we were placed in the top 20 research-intensive universities based on data produced by the University of Cambridge. Later in the year, we were one of only 17 UK universities to appear in the top 200 universities and the top 500 universities lists in the world, where Leicester was placed 151st in the latter table. Quite an accolade given the number of UK universities that appeared in that table. In May of this year, we were placed in 24th position in the Times League table, placing us in the top quartile of UK universities. The evidence is such that our position has improved over the last few years, and we plan to go even higher in these tables. Indeed, think of it like this. The higher we are placed, the greater the value of your degree. But what contributes to our league table position? First, I would identify the development of teaching. This year, Leicester has been awarded three centers of excellence in teaching and learning in a national competition. This attracts investments of some four million pounds on each occasion to genetics education, to geography, and also to physics. Two of these centers will be led from the University of Leicester in genetics and in geography. And, and it is interesting to observe that, that this makes us one of only 16 universities awarded more than one of these innovative centers. Subject reviews by external groups has resulted in 14 consecutive marks of excellence being awarded to this university, this being matched by only one other UK university. And national teaching fellowships have also been awarded to our staff last year to De Dr. Derek Rain in physics and this year to Dr. Chris Wilmot in biochemistry. We are very proud of their achievements. Similarly, in research, we have been identified as a leader in the field. In the Faculty of the Social Sciences, we have made many major appointments to our management center and have affirmed our position as a leader in the field of critical management studies nationally and internationally. In economics, Professor Panakos Dimitriades is leading an Economic and Social Research Council funded project on financial liberalization and third world debt thus demonstrating the relevance of social science to contemporary issues at the very heart of policy debate. We have continued to develop high quality facilities for our students and staff. The Henry Wellcome Building for Biomedical Sciences 
provides a £22 million state-of-the-art facility for biological scientists. This brings our total commitment in that area to £42 million this year alone. The Space Science and Mathematical Modelling Building was also opened this year and named in honour of our Chancellor, Sir Michael Atia. And then there are numerous new developments that are taking place some this summer. For example, the, the Ken Edwards Building, in which the Management Centre is located, will be redeveloped in, in its entirety for management education. Work on the University Library Project, an essential part of the research and teaching infrastructure of the university, constitutes a new £28 million project for everyone on campus. It is a two-year venture which will finish in June of 2007. And a new student hall of residence is now underway with 581 study bedrooms being constructed which will be available in September 2006. All these facilities are designed to enhance the student experience in Leicester. Our contribution to the community is also very vibrant and takes many forms. Contact, a student volunteer organization, has seen over 500 students volunteering this year to help with right to read schemes, holidays for disabled children, and work in adventure playgrounds. Conducting this work and creating these facilities empowers the people involved. It changes their lives. They, they will never forget the contribution that students from this university have made. Our Arts Week in March of this year connected those engaged in dance, drama, and music, where many links are made with local schools through the school's arts exhibition staged in the university. Our Centre for Disability in the Arts, named after Lord Richard Attenborough, promotes dance, music, and the visual arts through classes and public performances, many by international artists. Our fourth international sculpture show in the Botanic Gardens opened last Friday and highlights the university's contribution to the arts. This year's exhibition celebrates the centenary of the Royal British Society of Sculptors. There are 50 exhibits, and when you glance at the catalogue, you will see they are quite expensive. But I can guarantee viewing is free, and I do strongly recommend it. We also plan a whole range of courses for members of the community, some delivered face-to-face -face on the campus, others delivered by distance learning. So if parents and friends would like to take a distance learning course with the University of Leicester and be on their way to a degree ceremony in the De Montfort Hall, we can sign you up at the end of the morning and indeed guarantee that work can begin next week. I hope you're very persuaded. In a university of this kind, we need to constantly plan, build, and develop new facilities and raise funds for them. This year, we have raised over three million pounds to commence work on a cardiovascular research institute that will be located on the Glenfield Hospital site in the city. And also, as I have indicated, we have started the University Library Project. If by any chance during this ceremony you should start to turn your attention to the brochure, could I in particular direct you to the last page, and if you feel like sponsoring a university chair to bring back all those fond memories of working in our library or connecting with it through distance learning, then I'm sure we shall be delighted to um, to have additional chairs for the new university library when it opens in two years' time. Our work never stops. We are creating plans for new research, new teaching programs, and new community links. We do this by developing our contribution to the arts through links we have established with local artists. We are developing new research in the social sciences, in medicine, in genetics, and in forensic science. 
New teaching programs and new appointments are being made in film, the media, and in chemistry. The Management Centre also has a four-year plan in which to increase its size, scale, and scope, both in terms of student numbers, which will also be matched by additional staff. There are also many new exhibitions planned to take place in the Richard Attenborough Centre. The list is endless and demonstrates we are a dynamic university. Finally, I would like to congratulate all those graduating this morning on the degrees you have obtained. We hope you will keep in touch with the university and I shall look forward to meeting you at alumni events. But before I close, I would like to invite you to join with me in a round of applause for all those people who have supported you through your university career. Now, it's very important that you demonstrate to us how effective you are at applause, because each summer we have a competition between the faculties. I'm afraid to say, as a social scientist myself, social science has never won. So I think this is your big chance this year to demonstrate that the social sciences can really pull this off. So if you could join with me in thanking your parents, relatives, friends and sponsors who have supported you through the university. That's very good. Have an enjoyable day, applaud your fellow students, and all good wishes to you in your future careers. The graduands in the Faculty of the Social Sciences will be presented by the Dean, Professor Jackson. Will all graduands in the Faculty please stand. Mr. Chancellor, I ask you to admit these candidates from the Faculty of the Social Sciences to the several degrees for which they are presented. Graduands of the Faculty of the Social Sciences, by the authority of the Senate, I admit you to the several degrees which you are presented. <clears throat> For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Jacqueline Azopardi. I give you the degree, Doctor of Philosophy. Congratulations. Well done. John Brooks. I give you the degree, Doctor of Philosophy. Congratulations. Alexandra Sikluna. I give you the degree, Doctor of Philosophy. Congratulations. Bethany Smith. For the degree of Master of Philosophy, Jim Walker. Congratulations, well done. For the degree of Master of Arts in Cooperative Management and Organisational Development, Esther Cicero. Congratulations, well done. Luke Poon Lee. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Business Administration, Anthony Akindeli. Neil Albarak. Hadil Mustafa Anatavi. Ebenezer Baasaki. 
Congratulations for that. Paul Bardellabin. Congratulations. Paul Barton. Congratulations. Richard Bills. Congratulations. Karen Bonello. Congratulations. Jason Bongalis. Congratulations. Maria Bovoli. Congratulations. Roberto Ciciri. Congratulations. Kei Xu Chan. Congratulations. Paul Chapman. Congratulations. Mark Chappell. Congratulations. Ying Ru Chen. Congratulations. Natalie Clark. Congratulations. Anthony Crompton. Congratulations. James Day. Congratulations. Jenny Dugdale. Congratulations. John Flood. Congratulations. Ian Fogg. Congratulations. Kelly Gallagher. Congratulations. Xu Ling Ji. Congratulations. David Gomez Picard. Congratulations. Dominic Gratsky. Congratulations. Lasanthi Gunawardana. Congratulations. Ashley Harvey. Congratulations. Stella Henton. Congratulations. Carol Herrera. Congratulations. Timothy Holmes. Congratulations. Chow Wen Xu. Congratulations. Avanice Jeffers. Congratulations. Rosalind Jones. Congratulations. Christodoulos Kakouris. Congratulations. Harsha Kariosam. Congratulations. <coughs> Shiraz Kashif. Congratulations. Elizabeth Kettle. Congratulations. Kari Kotamaki. Congratulations. Hugh Chin Lee. Congratulations. Paula Mazurie. Congratulations. Howard Lewis Jones. <coughs> Congratulations. Tang Meng. Congratulations. Chicago Mizuno. Congratulations. Peter Munde. Congratulations. Benjamin Newman. Congratulations. Nihal Newman. Congratulations. Phileas Ung. Congratulations. Robert Nicholson. Congratulations, Lena. Jacob Nielsen. Congratulations. Irene Nyankewi Owusu. Congratulations. Jamie Olweni. Congratulations. Kate Payne. Congratulations. Maria Pantelli. Congratulations. Polizeni Peristiani. Congratulations. Rosie Pili Narianen. Congratulations. Suba Puli Kuti. Congratulations. Claude Patania Misfood. Well Darren Potter. Congratulations. Abdul Rifti. Congratulations. Ali Seber. Congratulations. Michael Shembri. Congratulations. 
Sandra Shaw. Congratulations. Stefan Thuma. Congratulations. Parveen Thornhill. Congratulations. Richard Wilson. Congratulations. Yelis Yoruk. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Business Administration, Employee Relations, Abi Odun Afolabi. Charlotta Bellew. Kithsiri Dasaniaki. Haslin Hassan. Elaine Kelly. Yasser Nasiev. Andrews Osi Okra. Palinda Pereira. Himwachi Ramgoti. Julia Randall. Kuljit Thiari. For the degree of Master of Business Administration Finance, Nathan Addo. Joseph Affel. Felicia Agbozo. Awusu Kwasi Amoa. Sebastian Amu. Irene Ang. Degree congregations are, as the Vice-Chancellor has said, occasions when we celebrate the achievements of those graduating from this university. The graduates before me have successfully completed courses of study here as a result of their own efforts. We also, on these occasions, award one or two honorary degrees to prominent people in order, amongst other purposes, to inspire our graduates with the possibilities that lie in their futures. Some 2,300 years ago, the Greek mathematician Euclid was employed as a tutor in the household of King Ptolemy I, who complained about the difficulty of the theorems which Euclid expected him to learn and inquired if there were an easier way to approach the subject, like the shortcuts kept especially for the king's use. Euclid replied, Sire, there is no royal road to geometry. Much more recently, Yasmin Jeffa, on being asked the secret of her success in the meritocratic world in which she moves, said, there is no magic wand. It is all about hard work, hard work, and hard work. Some of my audience have gone rather pale. For good measure, Yasmin Jeffa also assures us that, in addition to hard work, you will probably come across setbacks. But setbacks are a vital part of the learning process. Watch a baby learning to walk. Up, wobble, down. Up, wobble, down. Up, wobble, down. Imagine the result of that baby thinking, obviously this walking thing is not for me. I'll just stay down here. Fortunately, we persist in striving, regardless of the odds until we succeed. Yasmin Jeffa is an Ismaili, a member of that branch of Shia Islam that is led by the Aga Khan. She was born in Tanganyika, now part of Tanzania, and educated at one of the excellent Ismaili schools there. Ismailis have always valued education for both boys and girls very highly, 
and placed great emphasis on working in and for the community. She came to England 35 years ago to complete her A-levels at Loughborough High School. Her elder brother was then at Loughborough University. She read mathematics at Westfield College London and then obtained an MSc in Management Science from Imperial College. Her first job was with Lucas, the motor components company. Whilst with them, she rapidly passed the examinations of the Chartered Institute of Management Accountants in her spare time. She is now a fellow of that institute. After a brief spell with the Nationwide Building Society, in 1985, Yasmin Jeffer joined what was then the Abbey National Building Society to work in information technology. Initially, she managed a group of only 100 people. Year by year, she progressed through the company hierarchy until, as retail service and operations director, she was responsible for a staff of 5,000 who provided after-sales service to 16 million customers. In January 2001, Yasmin Jether was appointed to the executive board of Abbey National, the first female executive director in the company's 150-year history. She was also the first Asian woman to become an executive director of any company in the FTSE 100. To add to her rarity, it is unusual for an IT specialist to be appointed to the main board, since they often act, or rather are believed to act, in a somewhat specialised environment and to lack broader management experience. In her role as executive director, she was in charge of procurement, property and security, as well as information technology, taking responsibility for more than a fifth of Abbey's operating costs. She directed the installation of new internet voice standards to manage internal and external telephone calls. In 2004, Abbey won the Bankers Award for the deployment of a voice over internet protocol which had been carried out under her direction. She retired from the board when Abbey was taken over by the Bank of Santander last year. Yasmin Jether was named Asian Businesswoman of the Year in 2001, and she won an Ismaili Award for Excellence in the Business category in 2002. Since her retirement from Abbey, she has been able to pursue her interests on a wider front, acting as advisor to the directors of both startup and established companies. She is looking to put something back into the wider community, which has helped her to her present position. I will end with a quotation from the Aga Khan. I am now deeply convinced that man's position in society, wherever he may be, will depend less and less upon his cultural or family heritage, and more and more on the power and the development of his mind. Yasmin Jeffa has shown that a determined person, with hard work and the support of a community, can scale the highest peaks of society, no matter what their sex or origin. Mr Chancellor, on the recommendation of the Senate and of the Council, I present Yasmin Jeffa that you may confer on her the honorary degree of Doctor of Laws. I thank you, degree Doctor of Laws, we welcome you, Mother. Here is your scroll. Congratulations, you. very nice to Thank you, Dr. German for your very kind words, and thank you, everybody. I am most grateful to the University of Leicester for this honorary degree. I accept it with immense pleasure and gratitude, but also with much humility when I note the great achievements of all the other recipients. As Dr. German said, I began my school life in UK at Loughborough High School, which gave me a tremendous start. I am delighted that the headmistress, Bridget O'Connor, is able to attend today. It is doubly fitting that the University of Leicester should be awarding this honor. I do regard the University of Leicester 
as being at the forefront of its inclusiveness in attracting students from a very wide social and ethnic background. I strongly believe that we thrive best within thriving and diverse communities. And in my community as a Shia Ismaili Muslim, we are brought up to value diversity and to regard it as a source of strength. And nowhere did I discover the truth of that more than in the business world. It can be brutally competitive, but the business world increasingly does not mind people who see the world a little differently. The very competitive nature of business means that companies increasingly value those who bring fresh perspectives and ideas, those who have something special that makes a difference. To make that difference, apart from education, talent, and skills, you will need great determination and be prepared to put the hours in. And if you really must insist on a substitute for hard work, then the only advice I can give is be lucky, time and again. My experience tells me that success rarely comes without real courage, a degree of self-denial, and lots of discipline. And successes do not come in straight lines. There will be hard times. And here, my faith as an Ismaili Muslim has played a crucial role when times have been hard, giving me a solid foundation, an anchor, a map and a compass, if you like, whenever I felt I've lost my way. I am therefore delighted that Dr. Amir Ghulam Hussain, one of our long-standing leaders of the Ismaili community and a member of staff at the University of Leicester, is also attending the ceremony today. Today is a very special day for all the new graduates. You have successfully completed your studies. So enjoy the day and enjoy the applause. You deserve it, you've earned it. And I wish all the new graduates every success, and I'm sure that the best is yet to come. Once again, thank you to the University of Leicester for this special day and very great honor. I will cherish it forever. Thank you. The remaining graduands in the Faculty of the Social Sciences will now be presented by the Dean, Professor Jackson. Mr. Vice-Chancellor, for the degree of Master of Business Administration Finance, Sadna Apana. Panaboa Apia Kusi. Michael Ayeba. Asa Ba. Kwame Basoa. Samuel Benko. Gertrude Boachi. Philip Boefo. Kofi Emmanuel Beoke. Ebenezer Botang. And Poffo Darfur. 
Congratulations. Mundi Dihir. Congratulations. Bodahandi De Silva. Congratulations. Ralph Efu Sasu. David Fahey. Congratulations. Evangeline Folson. Congratulations. Stephen Frimpong. Congratulations. Inam Geb Gebkor. Congratulations. Kevin Gray. Congratulations. Emmanuel Yambibi. Alexander Yassi. Congratulations. Jing Huang. Congratulations. Thank you. Valentina Kalinikova. Congratulations. Victoria Kambu. Congratulations. Emmanuel Corbo. Congratulations. Jacqueline Macha. Congratulations. Aidan Massa. Congratulations. Gertrude Mensa. Congratulations. Stuart Murray. Congratulations. Lee Nye. Congratulations. Thank you. Judith Nakamuli. Congratulations. Glenn Noma. Congratulations. Cynthia Obiri. Congratulations. Kenneth Ochola. Congratulations. St. John Okwabi. Congratulations. William Orhin. Congratulations. Rose Owusu Prempa. Congratulations. Sunil Pathiriani. Congratulations. Miriam Perez Patino. Congratulations. Isaac Safa. Congratulations. Joyce Thackey. Congratulations. Roger Tanner. Congratulations. Moses Teki Mensa. Congratulations. Anderson Tees. Congratulations. Emmanuel Wilson. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Business Administration Information Technology Management, Ian Ainsley. Congratulations. Bibi Tawa Tawida Asgarali. Congratulations. Michael Marty. Congratulations. Richard Pickford. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Business Administration Marketing, Virginia Argeru. Congratulations. Thank you. Bernard Ansu Adeji. Congratulations. Charles Boteng. Congratulations. Emmanuel Godwill. Sriprapa Hari Yapong. Congratulations. Patrice Marie. Congratulations. Eleni Marinopoulou. Congratulations. Thank you. Malcolm Mounsey. Congratulations. Thank you. Arjuna Nana Yakara. Congratulations. Marion Navla. Congratulations. Vidya Nayangoda. Congratulations. Constance Tillier. Congratulations. Collins Ose. Congratulations. Gideon Owusu Tawe. Congratulations. Sukhan Patipun. Congratulations. 
Daniel Pope. Congratulations. Elisa Yakoku. Congratulations. Alan Sequiria. Congratulations. Stephen Smith. Congratulations. Ying Song. Congratulations. Celia Stelicu. Congratulations. Richard Whitfield. Congratulations. Sami Zenedini. Congratulations. Thank you. For the degree of Master of Business Administration Sports Management, Andreas Yakovu. For the degree of Master of Business Administration, Total Quality Management, Yu Mei Chang. Congratulations. Nazarino Ngari. Congratulations. Joyce Thompson. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Science in Community Safety, Alexander Philip Day. Andrew Shakeshaft. For the degree of Master of Science in Criminal Justice, Robina Hussein Naviati. Danny Kung. For the degree of Master of Science in Criminology, Robert Nixon. Katie Page. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Science in Finance, Tajuddin Akandi. Benedict Doe. Congratulations. Rudolf Gatt. Congratulations. Gilbert Moses. John Masonic. Congratulations. Siakakie Siameji. Congratulations. Thomas Wedler. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Science in Forensic Investigation, Marie Louise Doran. Congratulations. Natalie Huggins. Congratulations, thank you. Susan Lewis. Congratulations, thank you. Deborah Palmer. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Science in Health and Safety Management, Steve Hiley. Congratulations. Michael Shaw. Congratulations. David Stevenson. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Science in Marketing, Furkan Aziz. Congratulations. Fuchi Dai. Congratulations. Babakan Khatib. Congratulations. Demetrius Ludis. Congratulations. Anna Morazeskis Sasso. Congratulations, thank you. Angela Philippou. Congratulations. Abdul He Sharik. Congratulations, thank you. Man Sun Siu. Congratulations. Clifford Van Vyck. Congratulations. Chuan Zhang. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Science in Police Leadership and Management, Edward Delarue. De Congratulations. Russell Foster. Congratulations. Stuart Murray. Congratulations. Mark Nottage. Congratulations. Benjamin Snugs. Congratulations. Thomas Thompson.
Adrian Tyson. Jeffrey Wessel. For the degree of Master of Science in Policing and Public Order Studies, Robert Gainer. Man Siu Poon. For the degree of Master of Science in Risk, Crisis and Disaster Management, Nicole Charilio. Simon Fuller. John Lewis. Rihanna Magidu. Helen Molino. Peter Simpson. William Tate. For the degree of Master of Science in Security and Organisational Risk Management, Khalifa Al Shamsi. For the degree of Master of Science in Security and Risk Management, James Arroldross. Duncan Borg Elul. Colin Atkins. Simon Bradbury. Marlon Dupre. Joseph Hogan. Barry Morgan Timms. Simon Reader. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Criminology, Shabana Ahmed. Congratulations, Baba. Rian Alman. Congratulations. Esther Beale. Congratulations. Sharmila Binik. Congratulations. Oliver Brooks. Congratulations. Paul Cal Calver. Congratulations. Stephen Clancy. Congratulations. Natasha Clark. Congratulations. Jonathan Congdon. Congratulations. Anna Duncan. <clears throat> Congratulations. Catherine Abage. Congratulations, thank you. Faye Edlin. Congratulations. Matthew Hamill. Congratulations. Peter Harold. Congratulations. Furs Haswari. Congratulations. Amy Hutchings. Congratulations. Surjit Johal. Congratulations. Noshin Kamal. Congratulations. Thank you. Francis Leonardi. Congratulations. Thank you. Sarah Neat. Congratulations. Benjamin Otawi. Congratulations. Lucy Saxton. Congratulations. Carolyn Sneath, Seath. Congratulations, Carol. Lucy Shelton. Congratulations. Claire Vanek. Congratulations. Abby Warren. Congratulations. Winner of the Scarman Prize, Robert Wayman. Andrew Woodfield. Congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Management Studies, Yamini Adam Zahir. Robert Armstrong. 
Upesh Arora. Congratulations. Nathpreet Baines. Congratulations. Chris Beckett. Congratulations. James Brown. Congratulations. Stuart Brownlee. Congratulations. Zen Chowdhury. Congratulations. Min Ching Chen. Congratulations. Antonio Cicero. Congratulations. Michelle Cumberbatch. Congratulations. Narwanti Devaz. Congratulations. Thank you. Ramsey L. Farhan. Congratulations. Christopher Elgay. Congratulations. Well done. Gemma Evans. Congratulations. Thank you. Vanessa Fowler. Congratulations. Constantino Giorgio. Ursula Jill. Congratulations. Daniel H Hadley. Congratulations. Matthew Horalu. Congratulations. Kanwal Hussein. Congratulations. Emma Jackson. Congratulations. Amy Johnson. Congratulations. Andrew Marriott. Congratulations. Caroline Matenga. Congratulations. Karen McGurran. Congratulations. Sarah Migdal. <laughs> Congratulations. Amy Miller. Congratulations. Sarah May. Congratulations, brother. Robert Mitchell. Congratulations. Amy Morris. Congratulations. Abby Munro. Congratulations. Ruth Naylor. Congratulations. Terence Nickel. Congratulations. Yun Shan Pang. Congratulations, thank you. Lucy Parry. Congratulations. Lena Patel. Congratulations. Andrea Pretlov. Congratulations. Navrit Samra. Congratulations. Yana Sophocleus. Congratulations. Yen Li Tang. Congratulations. Winner of the best BA in Management Studies graduate, Rochelle Tyrrell. Congratulations. Cock Vo. Congratulations. Seamus Whaley. Carl Willis. Congratulations. Shane Wilmhurst. Congratulations. Claire Woodrow. Congratulations. Emma Woods. Congratulations. For the degree of Master of Business Administration Finance, Richard Zvenu. Mr. Vice-Chancellor, I ask you to admit to the several degrees for which they are presented by my faculty, those candidates who are absent. By the authority of the Senate, I admit those candidates who are absent to the several degrees for which they are presented.
Since this is a long, hot morning, you'll be pleased to know the Chancellor's speech is a short one. But let me begin by congratulating all those who have graduated here today, both our honorary graduate who reminded us of the achievements to which we can aspire, and those who have earned their degrees by passing examinations and writing theses. This is a great day for all of you and for your supporters, family, friends, and teachers. And the graduation ceremony, with its pomp and formality, brings the whole university together and reminds us of its main purpose, the passing on of knowledge to a new generation. Many of you have traveled from distant lands to come to Leicester. I, too, have made such a journey, since I now live in Edinburgh, a city that has been much in the news over the past few weeks, the focus of multiple demonstrations associated with the G8 summit at Glen Eagles. As you know, the leaders of the rich nations of the world have acquired a guilty conscience and have been persuaded of the novel idea that the rich should help the poor. In particular, Africa has been high on the agenda as a continent that has been lagging behind the rest of the world and suffers constantly from poverty, disease, and famine. Although at my age I am a little old to march in the streets, I very much sympathize with the objectives of those hundreds of thousands of people, including my son, who wanted to register their hope that more should be done to help Africa. No doubt, more money will be forthcoming. That is welcome. But at the end of the day, action has to be implemented by people. Developing countries need to educate and train more of their citizens so that they can cope with the complex demands of the modern world. They need teachers, doctors, engineers, farmers, scientists, and an official civil administration that can raise the standard of living and modernize their society. This is where the universities can contribute. It is our task to turn out in large numbers and all the variety that the present world requires, the trained personnel who will help to improve the lives of those who live in underprivileged societies. Whatever country you're from, or wherever you plan to work, you will in your own way be contributing to the welfare of the world's inhabitants. Of course, you will be motivated by many aims, from intellectual ambition to the support of your family. But you should always bear in mind your moral obligation to society as a whole, both within and outside the boundaries of your own country. As someone privileged to have enjoyed the benefits of higher education, you have to shoulder part of the burden of helping those who are less fortunate. Here in Leicester, we now turn out, as you can see, impressive numbers of new graduates from many countries and in a wide variety of disciplines. This is our contribution to the world, and I am personally happy to have presided over the occasion when we celebrate this achievement. I have now been Chancellor of Leicester for 10 years, this is my last set of graduation ceremonies, the last chance I have of addressing such a large audience. I may not be able to compete with Bob Geldorf, but I think I have a more impressive gown. <laughs> In my 10 years, Leicester has matured into a major university. Every year I hear the statistics from the Vice-Chancellor telling us how student numbers have grown, how we have more postgraduates than any other university in this country, how research is flourishing in our departments. And right now, a vast new building program is underway that will provide an appropriate infrastructure for those increasing numbers. I congratulate the Vice-Chancellor and all his colleagues in the university for these achievements. I can retire happy in the knowledge that the university is thriving and has a great future before it. I have enjoyed my association with Leicester, and the image that will stay firmly in my mind is that of a multinational, multicultural university with a wide range of students from all parts of the world and of all ages. A university fit for the future. Farewell. And I declare this congregation closed.